Do you wish that you had a magic wand that you could just wave in the air or just click your fingers and your house was instantly clean? Well, I can't help you there. But I do have a magic weapon that I keep in my cleaning caddy all the time and I take it with me everywhere I go. Do you want to know what my secret weapon is? Introducing the magic eraser. In today's video, I want to introduce you to the magic eraser. However, if you do know the magic eraser, then I'm just going to show you different ways in which you could use it, which you maybe haven't thought of. I love this one because it's nice and thick. I'm using the Chuck spray. I don't know how you pronounce it wherever you are. I call it Chucks. This one's really cool. Let me open it and show you what it looks like. So you've got a soft, squishy sponge. On the top, it's got an absorbent wiping layer. And then it's got your magic eraser at the bottom. I have got 11 different ways to show you on how you can use this magic sponge. And I promise you that's not the only places you can use it on. There are multiple places. However, today I'm only going to focus on 11. Have you tried the magic eraser? Let me know in the comments below. Before I dive into the countless ways as to which you could use this magic sponge, you do need to remember that you actually have to wet it in order to activate it. This is how it gets that cleaning power. Stay tuned because at the end of this video I'm going to give you a bonus tip. Bathroom floor tiles. There is a thick buildup of dirt on the shower floor. Giving a good back and forth rub with a magic eraser will remove this layer really quickly. On the side of your doors, where grubby hands touch all the time, just a soft wipe will remove that as well. Doorknobs. They get sticky and grubby over time. Go over the doorknob and then wipe it with a damp cloth to remove the white residue and then dry. Oven doors. It's great at removing that greasy grime off of oven doors and you can have it looking good as new in no time. Sticky tape residue. If you had stickers or tape on your furniture or other items in your house, the sponge will take that off too. Even the label residue left on your glasses. Gaming chair. These two get really dirty. There is nothing better than the eraser to revive this chair to a new look. Walls. Being careful on walls, as some paints do not do well with a magic eraser. Do a small test somewhere before you start going wild. Sneakers. Or wherever you're from. Runners, joggers, and you South Africans, tackies. Make your sneakers look good as new by removing the marks on them with ease. Ring around the bathtub. Sometimes it can be really difficult to get rid of that ring, but the eraser makes this job so manageable. While we're talking about baths, this is one that Chucks has specifically made for your bathroom. What's really cool is it has the sponge at the bottom and it has the chamois section at the top. They reckon this is a great soap scum buster. And to be honest, I actually haven't tried it as yet. I can't wait to give it a go. I'll let you know later in a video how it actually performed. Grout. Just rubbing this eraser up and down along the grout will remove all that grime that is collected in there. And while you're at it, the silicon in your bathroom. Most places in the bathroom have silicon around the edges. If you just give a gentle wipe, being very careful not to take the silicon with you, removing all the mold and dirt. Blinds. I like to check for marks on the blinds and wipe them so that they stay clean. Also, easy with the magic of the eraser. I find that using little pieces when I clean are a lot easier for those little marks here and there. Using the big sponge can be a little bit, it's just bulky in your hands and then it gets all ugly on the one side and then your whole sponge is a waste. So if you cut them up into little pieces, that can help you. I do that a lot. I'm sure in this video you saw that I wasn't using a full sponge, I'm using little pieces. If you don't want to buy a big one, there are some other options out there. You can actually buy the 8-piece like this from Chucks. And I've seen plenty where there is bulk that you can buy in other brands. But, oops. But these are really great. They're called the Scuff Busters. And yep, yeah, just little squares and very handy to use. Keep them in the house. Grab one every time you have a tiny little scrub that you need to do. Well, that's my 11 tips for you on where you can use the Magic Eraser. And if you want some more, I actually have a few more for you. Do you want to know? So, you can use them on your skirting boards. Great place. I didn't mention that because I think 
pretty much everybody knows about that one. Shower glass, really great at removing all that scum build up on your shower glass. Just remember though to rinse it off thoroughly when you are finished because that, that white residue on it will stay if you don't. So just give it a quick rinse and then wash it again and then dry. And don't forget your cables, you know, your kettle cord, if you've got white kettle cords, they get really, really nasty sometimes. You can actually just give them a nice wipe with those as well, and they come really well cleaned. Now remember, while this sponge is a miracle worker, you do need to avoid it on certain places, like marble. Maybe just do a little bit of a test on the item before you do it, somewhere where you're not going to notice it, before you go and try it out and end up with a disaster. So bonus tip. If you don't want to spend all that money on magic erasers or you don't believe in them or very scared to use them, you don't need them. You can use baking soda. Take some baking soda, put it on a wet cloth or on a wet sponge and do just rub it up and down on those marks. I guarantee it will have exactly the same effect as a magic sponge. While I'm not trying to discourage you from buying the magic sponge, I do know that there are people out there who don't like it. If you're in a rental and you have agency, they sometimes do not want you to use a magic sponge and they state so in their contracts that when you get a cleaner do not use magic sponge on the walls. I know why because sometimes it can leave a really bad mark on the wall so yes be very careful when using the magic eraser on your walls. So go make your cleaning a breeze with your magic eraser. Maybe this will become your new ultimate cleaning companion.